Welcome back everybody, I'm Pixel Dragon, and you're watching a Let's Play of Elden Ring. You might notice I'm no longer in the Rhea Lucaria Academy. Uh, that's because while I was testing some stuff out, um, between, uh, between recordings, I actually came upon something that I wanted to make sure I got recorded. I found, uh, I, I was testing out a weapon that I really like, the, the Hook Claws, by the way, they're, they seem pretty awesome. Uh, but I noticed in Limgrave, uh, this big section right here, starting from the Storm Hill Shack, I never just took the path going, uh, going east. So that's what, uh, that's what I started to do. And I took down, uh, two of these guys with the Hook Claws. Um, they didn't, I, I, I know that I'm over leveled for this area, but with the blood loss build up on that thing, they didn't really even stand a chance. Um... Alright, so I found a side of grace over here and a person, so we're gonna touch this side of grace. And we're gonna see who the Warmaster Shack, alright. Not seen you before. Name's Bernal. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of Grace hold firm? Despite the collapse of the Golden Order. Uh, yeah, my faith holds firm. I'll play the good guy. Yes, you're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished like you there's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that i've yet to discover mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle lost and died a fine tale all told of true chivalric romance that's how i fell in love with the sword and the arts of combat it grants meaning even to falling in battle to death itself Oh, that's really cool. That's a neat piece of lore. It's like the 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 weapon arts that we're getting throughout this. Um, those aren't just like instructions or runes or anything that say, "Oh, do you know? Here's how you do it." Like it, it it's like a like a memory that uh, of someone's ability. That's really cool. Oh, nice! And I can just buy stuff. Ash of War, no skill. Grants affinities and skills to an armament. Oh, okay. That way you can like have a like a keen shield or a strength shield or something like that, but you don't want to have a, an ash of war on it. Uh, Stormblade, quick step, impaling thrust. These are all super awesome. Um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm not gonna buy anything not right now. In your boat, eh? Well, there's no rush. Knowledge of the arts can wait another day. And I will come back, and I will probably buy all of those from you. All right. Now, uh, now that I've done my little tests and recorded uh, a new character, Knight Bernal, uh, back to our regular programming at the Raya Lucaria Academy of Raya Lucaria. All right, so let's see how the hook claws work over here. I haven't upgraded them, but I'm, but if they, if they work really nice here too, they're, I'm gonna upgrade them. I mean, look at that. Just annihilates. Uh, let's go this direction. Alright, let's see how... Uh, these living jars don't bleed, so I wonder... Oh, dang. Yeah, the falchion is good... For, is better for, like, the crowd control, because it, um... It has a wider arc of damage, but... Um, when it's a one-on-one, -on -one, 
the the speed of those hook claws is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna run back and grab those um, those runes, and I'm gonna see how many upgrades I can give my uh, my hook claws. And not only has a little bit of a wider arc, but it also has some, uh, some, like, oomph behind it. When they fall down, I'm trying to do uh, a backstab on them, but it's not working, so I I'm wondering if I just can't do it on uh, on the small living jars. Alright. Yep, we're going back to uh, round table hold and I'm gonna upgrade those hook claws because man, that was pretty that was pretty nice. I am having a just an absolute well, blast um, going through this game. There, there's there's so much to it. All right, so I have two. I have four. Upgrading that to okay. So I need more level one smithing stones. Can I have? See if there's any for sale. I don't remember seeing them for sale. Yeah, none here. Um, I think the merchants had them. I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. Um, yeah. But I, I, I will want to get it eventually. Alright, let's continue our exploration. Uh, I am very curious. I want to see if I can take on that, that big old, uh, that thing. Hey, buddy. All right. Answer's probably no. Gotcha. 
Don't get anything for it. Oh, I got some runes, but nothing special. I'm willing to bet that thing comes back. I don't... I don't think that's going to be something that I can just kill once and be done with. Why, why on earth would I target the entire world's population of crabs? Alright. Oh, I hear a pumpkin head. Not sure if it's coming through on your, um, uh, like, over the, uh, recording, but there is a pumpkin head sound. Oh my god. I did not see you there, buddy. You know, I haven't killed one of you yet. So that's a, I think that's sleep that he cast on me. Alright, 600 runes off of that thing. Not bad. And some crab eggs. That's, I mean, not great, not terrible. Alright, so... I have to go up there, I think. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Um, okay. Well, let's give this a shot. Oh, look at that. There's like a big portal or something. Uh, where can I hide? If I go in here, it, it's summoned a ball. Oh boy. Um, man, I don't, I don't know about that. Got some crystal darts. Alright, so it goes to the left right and the left. I'm trying to figure out where it's bouncing off of. There's a teleporting thing right there. There's a dude. That doesn't open from that side. Oh man. I don't know if it's a very wise idea to go in with only uh, three of my seven flasks. But, you know what? Why not? Uh, oh, oh, it's not a boss fight. It's a invasion fight. All right, uh, Moon Grum Carrion Knight. All right. Seemed like fun. Whoa. Oh, and he parries. Oh, this will be interesting. I tried to parry and I did not do very well at it.
Okay, this guy's pretty tough. I he he is fun so far. I'm 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 having a great time. I think I've got him. I just need to get off one power attack. Wow. There we go. Carrion Knight's shield. He was he was entertaining. That, that was fun. And I made it through only because of my parries. Um, so I'm glad I have the shield equipped. Keep hearing a pumpkin head. You guys don't need to worry. I'm not gonna kill you. You're just you're just doing your job. Ha! <laughs> they just go right back to it. They're like, eh, all right. I mean, he said he wasn't going to kill us. Man of my word. Well, they are easily convinced. Top of that thing, I think. Let's check this out, though. Oh, nice. Okay. Shortcut. It's a little bit of a difficult shortcut, but it doesn't involve having to... Uh, run past that giant ball that's trying to murder me. Is there a way up there? Ah, uh, magic. Church. Oh, it'll- okay. Um, well, thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a good rating because at least this person told me no 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 oh crap no I wish I could change my rating I accidentally hit the poor button well if you saw this I apologize um, I did not mean to give you a poor rating whoever you were are. All right, let's go up. Man, Ray Lucari Academy is huge. Oh, you know what? The, to me, this says like final boss fight or uh, not final but like main boss fight i'm gonna go down because i'm uh i'm going to save that for the um for the next episode for now i want to do a little bit more exploring because there's some stuff we've missed oh here's how i get over there There we go. That's what I wanted. Nice. Um, actually, I have... Yeah. I'm just gonna equip that and hope that helps, because I got no more flasks with me. This 
this was a bad plan. Man, those guys shooting off those arrows, like they, they really shoot those things quick. All right, but now we have a shortcut to it, so. Let's see if we can run there. 10K on the line. And with 10k on the line, I'm going to try and sprint. I don't really want to fight all this stuff. Oh my god. No, wrong damn button. Oh my god, leave me alone. Alright. Now let's try this again, but this time with health potions. I don't know if I'll be able to make it, but we are going to give it a shot. All of those were whiffing. All right, so I can't do a sneak up on this guy. I, well, a sneak attack, I should say. Hi. And that's what I was actually hoping for. Because you guys, I can take. All right. Glintstone Scarab. I think, I think that's a, like an amulet or not, like it's, it's not, is it a helmet? Yeah, okay. Slightly reduces FP cost of sorceries, but increases damage taken. Good Lord. That is not, that is not a good option. Oh, nice, I'm gonna just jump back down to the teleporty area. Pumpkinhead is waiting there for me though. Is there a way to turn that off? Hmm. Oh shoot. Oh. Oh, that was almost bad. Man, uh, there's got to be a way to turn off that that teleporter. That, like, magic ball thing. The reason I want to turn it off is there's something at the very end here, and I don't want to get caught by it. Uh, like, like at, at the very end of this, where you see that that dead end, um, you know, the ball just rolls until it goes off the edge, um, off the edge there. But there's an item at the very end, and I want to make sure that I that I get it. I wonder, okay, nice. I, I think killing those mages is what, I think it stopped it. That's awesome. All right, and what do we get? Smithing stone level five? All right.
All right. Now we have pumpkin head here. Hey, buddy. Are you stuck? He is a little stuck. It doesn't mean he can't get unstuck, though. Important to remember that. Three, four, five, six. Ah. Whoa, I whiffed every one of those hits. So actually what I can do is... Well, I mean, that would take forever. Okay, so... It's not working out super well, hitting him in the head. So he hits, he does like a, a seven swing attack. Smithing stone level two and a sanctuary stone. All right. And I, yeah, look at that. That thing does come back. All right, good to know. All right. Is there a stake of America over here, or do I have to run every single time? This looks like the, uh, looks like it's it. Uh, let's see. I do not see a stake of America. Hmm. Okay. Um, we are gonna wrap up the episode here. And in the next episode, we're going to go beyond these doors to, which, to what I suspect is the boss fight for the Academy. So uh, that might take a little bit. I might have to edit it down. Um, but uh, yeah, if there, um, if there are any sound quality issues, by the way, um, just drop a comment and say, hey, by the way, the sound is a little quiet or it's a little too loud. Um, and let me know... Uh, uh, let me know if you would like there to be adjustments to it, because whenever I fiddle with the settings, um, I, I, I rely on other people's feedback for it, so uh, to, to know if, I, if it sounds good or not. So I will see you all in the next episode.